I bought two um, two uh, Enzo Trapper 95 um, blank blades and uh, I wanted to make two identical knives so I've made one already with some um, Australian hardwood uh, I'm gonna make now with the other blank um, with this really nice uh, Australian uh, hardwood burl beautiful grain beautiful color beautiful texture I think it'll be a nice uh, a nice uh, blade in the end so I just want to make a quick video of me making it I think it'll look very nice so it'll have uh, yellow um, yellow um, dividers well, you can still see the the stainless steel mic 12 12 C27 stainless and then it'll look nice the timber and the yellow divider will look nice the the the, the, the angle of the blade is uh, full scandy uh, and it's very sharp so I'm just gonna record a video of uh, me I'm making the knife uh, in the next few weekends fairly big palm swell and uh, reduced at the end tapered at the end for a better grip and uh, it actually feels quite nice different timber but exactly the same blade so anyway see how we go eh? beautiful Australian hardwood These are match pairs, so they get a they get a piece of wood and they cut it in half. Then you end up with a match book bookend uh, pattern. So you see basically a, a, a mirror image of each side. And then you choose which side you want. So basically, the blade. The blade's going to be sitting in there like that. It's gonna look nice.
Hey guys, uh, we've had these uh, gluing overnight, so um, just time to check it, take the clips away. So now we have our liners nicely stuck uh, to the timber, to the hardwood. Um, now all we gotta do is line up our blade. We have to uh, drill through the holes for the uh, for the bolts. Then we need to trim these off and do the edging at the front, and then we'll be able to glue the handles, the scales to the knife, and we'll start uh, cutting away the excess uh, timber, and we start shaping the handle. Um, that'll probably be a whole day's worth because it's got to be done really nice and slow and steady. Okay. 